Court expected tomorrow night has the city of Nina buzzing. The city council is expected to decide whether people can raise bees within city limits. A proposal brought forward by a beekeeper himself. NBC 26's Raquel Lamel is live at 6 with the details. Raquel. Megan, they're called mason bees, and currently they're not allowed in Nina city limits. However, one man has been raising them for the past three years, and now he's trying to get an ordinance passed so he can keep them. On the 600 block of Winnebago Street in Nina, one man. Yeah, so... Yeah, but that's what they look like. Living in peace with his bees. I use them for pollinating all my fruit trees in the backyard, and they're great for that. Josh Preisner trying to get the city to pass an ordinance that would allow him to keep his bees, which he says he's been raising for a few years now and just recently learned is against the law. They're extremely docile. They they don't sting. I've never been stung by one. The ordinance has already passed through two committees. Tomorrow, the city council will vote. I'm sure the people that are on the committee are going to want a little more information on it, which we'll give to them at the council meeting. Lee Hillstrom, a Nina City Council member, in favor of the ordinance, although he says he was skeptical at first. But one main point sold him on that idea. There's no allergic reactions to them like bee stings. In fact, Preisner's wife is allergic to bees. That's why he has mason bees instead of honeybees. They're not a hive. They're just... Just a house, it's like a birdhouse with holes in it. One man's hobby he hopes won't create too much of a buzz among city leaders. The city council meets tomorrow at 7 at the council chambers in City Hall. The ordinance is expected to pass. Raquel Amell, NBC 26. Work crews are